We're here with Dr. Sean Riley from Tulsa Spine and Rehab, and it's time to ask another question posed by one of our listeners. Dr. Riley, I was recently in a car accident and diagnosed with whiplash. What exactly is whiplash and what should I do about it? Yeah, Scott, whiplash is a, it's typically a neck injury that can occur um, during a rear impact or um, when you're rear-ended in an automobile accident, typically. Whiplash can also be, uh, unfortunately, caused from different types of trauma or physical abuse, but most commonly it's going to be call, caused from some type of you know, rear impact uh, motor vehicle accident where the head is um, you know, acutely uh, thrown back into flexion or you go back and then forward. And what this actually does is it can put a lot of stress on the muscles and ligaments. What happens, these muscles and ligaments are actually taking into extreme motion. Uh, it's beyond their normal range of motion. And what can happen is you can damage the ligaments and the soft tissues in your neck, and it just results in kind of generalized neck pain. And what are some of the treatment options? Well, that's a good question. So, you know, conservative treatment, you know, actually m more importantly, or most of the time, um, whiplash can be managed just with medications, rest and ice. Okay. You're going to, you might experience just general um, neck pain throughout your neck. Most commonly, you might have headaches. Unfortunately, you might have dizziness and some blurred vision. Uh, some people can even have some difficulty concentrating, memory problems, and those are in more extreme cases. But I would recommend that, you know, obviously if we've been diagnosed properly, which is generalized whiplash, you know, rest, ice, um, gentle motion are all very, very, you know, effective first-line treatment options. I will tell you that years ago you, you would see a lot of folks wearing those soft collars like the, the mm -hmm. neck braces. Yeah. Those have been shown to be very, very ineffective. And now these days we know that we want to keep patients, you know, keep them moving within a degree. Because what happens is when we immobilize something for an extended period of time, you're obviously you're going to bring on weakness and you might actually um, increase atrophy in some of those cervical muscles. Now, chiropractic care, physical therapy, two very, very, very good treatment options related for generalized, you know, whiplash. Um, chiropractors specialize in manipulation of joints and soft tissues, and it's been shown very effective along with um, the mobilization of joints and soft tissues to accompany that with some form of exercise, some type of physical therapy. Those, uh, those treatments are very, very effective. Generally speaking, how long can a treatment plan last? Well, typically, you know, in just, you know, mild cases, mild to moderate cases of whiplash, you know, it should be resolved fairly quickly within three to four weeks. We, you know, barring anything unforeseen or any nasty signs or symptoms, nothing underlying, our patients typically resolve in four to six weeks, you know, because I think we have that combination of physical therapy and chiropractic and we're able to incorporate some different modalities and different treatment things that we have here in the clinic. And it really speeds up the healing. What we talk to our patients about with just these whiplash type injuries is that we want to prevent residual symptoms. And what that means is, you know, we don't want you to hurt in the future. A lot of times patients will come in on their first visit and say, hey, listen, is this something that I'm going to have to deal with in the future? Nine times out of 10, the answer is no. I mean, we're going to be able to get you moving better, quicker, um, healing faster without pain, increase your range of motion and some of those things. Now, in some rare instances, when a patient starts to complain of, you know, maybe shooting or tingling into the shoulder or down even into the arm, I mean, that's a little bit more of a serious type injury. We might suspect some type of a disc, disc problem. Um, we might want to work them up further with x-ray, maybe MRI, to determine that there's not anything underlying going on. Now, the nature of this question, it's related to a car accident. Have you seen whiplash associated with any other kind of inc incidents? Well, most definitely. You know, we, we've spoken here in the past that we treat quite a few sports injuries as well, and we've seen a lot of football players, soccer players, hockey players. Anytime that head goes back quickly into flexion and then back into extension, you always have the um, potential to irritate or uh, injure the, the ligaments or the muscles. A lot of times we'll ask patients too with any type of accident, did you have a chance to, did you anticipate the accident? And if that's the, if they say yes, well, they have a chance, chance to brace. Typically you're going to deal with more of a, a muscle, you know, uh, muscle sprain or strain. When they don't anticipate it, that's when the ligaments can potentially have, you know, be involved and become more damaged, which is a little bit more of a, a delicate situation as opposed to the muscles. Are there risks associated with whiplash if left untreated? Typically, no. You might experience, for you know, limited range of motion. Um, you're not going to heal as quickly. 
you know, in mild to moderate cases, hopefully it's going to resolve itself. And that's why we always recommend treatment early on. So it resolves itself quicker. But for the most part, you might experience generalized soreness. You might notice uh, limited range of motion, like with your rotation or flexion extension. Some of so what ha- can happen is you can develop some scar tissue adhesions or formations. So you might actually lose mobility. If you have a question about an ache, pain, or strain, this is a great forum to get an answer. Just find a question submission form on the right-hand side of the webpage, or you can email info at tulsaspineandrehab.com. <laughs>